Hi. Uh, it's not going to be one of those videos where I'm going to be shouting dude, rad and uh, strange music in the background which kind of gets on your nerves while you're trying to watch something. This is basically, I've just received the uh, Mavic Mini. I'm still learning about it myself. And I thought one of these might be a good idea to get. And it is like a, a small extension to the undercarriage. Just gives it small legs, a bit like a, a chopper. So I thought I'd try them out. And this is the test flight just to see how I'm happy with them. My main concerns were, is it going to be wobbly when it comes in? Is it going to affect the flight at all? And then, you know, the trim of the aircraft. Or is it going to be, uh, you know, when it comes down, is it going to bounce or be unstable? Or is it going to go top heavy or bottom heavy or something like that? So that was the test. That was just to see how it was. So anyway, here's the flight and you can see uh, how they worked out. Okay, so <clears throat> the first test uh, of the drone there, take off, there doesn't appear to be any difference at all. Uh, which there wouldn't be really because... Um, it's shielded from the caravan, there's virtually no wind or anything like that, so it seems quite comfortable uh, in taking off. These legs, uh, they make it look pretty stable. So, in flying out now forward, just want to see if uh, if the wind takes it at all um, with it making it um, a slightly deeper craft uh, but again doesn't appear as soon as it flew out in front of the uh, sea you know uh, it didn't affect it at all um, just having a little look at its landing characteristic now um, this was the main thing for me to make sure that it was still stable when it came down and as you can see there when it touched down absolutely fine uh, no tipping forward or backward confident that I'm not going to damage uh, propellers and things like that so out we go just to try it out now um, as you can see it doesn't affect its flying at all no sharp jerking or anything like that, you know, if, if gusts blow against it or anything like that. It seems to be able to correct itself without any issues whatsoever. Again, I'm fairly new to droning, but I, I can't tell any difference whatsoever in the, the flying of it there. Um, if anything it's there just to give me a bit of confidence with uh, landing and also you know run, to not run the risk of damaging it while I'm using it you can see on the approach as well there's no uh, no crosswind at all um, interference with it Quite a confident approach there, actually, if I do say so myself. And now I'm attempting in to come in for another landing now, just to make sure that it, uh, again, that I'm happy with it, uh, not tipping forward or backward. You know, just to make sure that the first landing wasn't a fluke. I've used several different camera angles. I've got obviously glasses which are recording, they've got a camera, I've got a camera set up there and I'm obviously using the drone camera as well uh, to see if the, to get best angles from the, uh, from making the film. And as you can see that touches down lovely, nice and steady so I've achieved everything that I wanted to achieve there. Uh, I'm quite happy with the product. And again, just having a look, uh, making sure that it uh, seems to fit securely. Um, and even touching down like that, it keeps the blades, you know, a little bit higher, yeah. um, which is good, which, which, which will save, you know, me having to fit maybe blade guards to it at some point. The other good thing as well, I did look at uh, the idea of getting extensions to the 
to the legs, which some people have done, but I thought if one of those was to fall off or come unstuck for any reason whatsoever, then you'd be landing the drone technically with three legs, and it might not be as stable. Um, it might tip forward and then you can get damaged props, but whereas I thought with this setup, it would be uh, a lot better um, because it, it clips in and when it when it's clipped into it it feels very secure um, it doesn't feel like anything will will take it off or, or, or blow away while you're flying or anything like that quick view of the coastline there as you can see North Wales we are renowned for uh, lots of rain but we do get some good weather as well Obviously the Mavic Mini has got a, it's not got the biggest camera in the world, but it's it's enough, it's effective for, uh, for what I want for it. The beauty of where I am as well is uh, I can basically step out of my uh, front door of the caravan and be uh, flying straight onto the beach. Um, which is great for testing, all different kind of weathers as well. And there you see the approach issues coming in. So, uh, in my own opinion, I think it hasn't affected the drone's ability to fly. I don't even think it will have slowed it down any or caused uh, too much drag. Um, obviously the weight uh, it will have possibly increased it from 249 grams to 250 grams but I have obviously recently completed my uh, operator's certificate and my flight ID uh, which I did the other night it's an online test it's 20 questions and it's uh, you get the chance to read up on it first and you can take the test as many times as you like as well but uh, well, luckily I passed first time so I'm, I'm happy with that. So it means that I can fly this drone um, safely and know that when I do little add-ons to it which increase the weight um, it'll be okay to use. So that was my little test with the Mavic Mini using the uh, attachable undercarriage and very happy with it and I would definitely uh, continue to use it as part of my uh, flight programs when I'm out and about. So thanks for tuning in and I hope it helped and if there's anything else that I decide to buy for the drone to uh, um, <clears throat> make it better or you know other, other gadgets and uh, gizmos that might improve it for me uh, I will surely post them up on here. That was shit. Thank you for tuning in. I'm, yeah. Mm.